soon I will be leaving Cambridge. I've been here for 10 weeks painting wild things in Caleb and Mima's apartment like giant swirls in their bathroom. Yes, swirls. It's supposed to only be two or three weeks, but it actually took 10 weeks. Been here for a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna be. And now I'm going to be uh, today leaving to go up to uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, possibly Canada on my three-speed bicycle, taking this stuff with me. This stuff. Why? Because I need to, need to get a retreat. I need to, to go up to Canada and film wooden covered bridges along the way, which is kind of like a bridge crusade. You know, a favorite theme of mine is filming cover bridges and I'm gonna take the Super 8 camera and I'm gonna do that, that very thing. And I was hoping to take you guys along with me. Ah, yes. Thank you, Caleb and Mima, for letting me wear Speedos for 10 weeks around your home. Yeah, I wanted to uh, invite you guys to come along with me if there's any dilapidated factories, warehouses, abandoned drive-in movie theaters, high schools, things of that nature, uh, Victorian mansions heading northwest towards Lake Champlain around the Burling, I think it's called Burlington, Vermont. Uh, Brattleboro passing through Montpelier, Rutland, things like that. And if there's any, if there's anywhere around those areas that you think might be interesting, uh, points of interest, please let me know about that, please. Yeah. So I'm going to be leaving. I'm going to be leaving Cambridge after 10 weeks. Yeah. This is where I lived painting this penthouse apartment. Look, watch this. Because Caleb and Mimo were very gracious to me, and they could have kicked me out a long time ago, but mm -mm, mm -mm, no, no, they didn't. Caleb and Mima! Caleb and Mima, I love you! I love Caleb and Mima. You guys have been very gracious, all kidding aside. Your hospi hospitality has been top notch, no complaints, very awesome, and I will be saying goodbye to Harvard University and Harvard Square, which is about a two minute walk from here. It's pretty cool, and I hope to be back sometime in uh, mid-September and to continue to film weird stuff and do weird things, because that's what it's all about. Yeah! And I'll be taking this laptop with me, which is uh, not a smartphone, but I don't have a smartphone. What I have is really the smartest dumb phone. Smart dumb phone. Smart dumb phone. Ah. Dumb phone. Ah. <laughs> so I'll be posting stuff every three or four days or whenever I come across a point of interest which is fascinating enough to bother filming. And, and if you, again, know of any places that you think would, uh, would be interesting to film, especially with a Super 8 camera, you know, dilapidated, haunted places, please let me know. Uh, and, and come with me, come with me. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm really doing. So I'm on a three-speed bicycle and it's really old and, and I have this precarious situation going on. I'm just gonna kind of head out and, and, and go where the leaf, the lead, the wind takes the leaves, to where the leaves blow and that's what I'm gonna do. So it's, it's going to be eclectic and, and that type of impromptu adventure is appealing to me. I've done some research, but primarily I don't really know <laughs> because I'm not gonna have uh, a whole lot of internet access. I don't have a smartphone. And even my dumb smartphone doesn't have internet access. So uh, that said, this is uh, entirely too long, but uh, my no other videos will not be as long, probably. And I wish you guys uh, a great summer. Again, thank you very much, Caleb and Mima. 